I'm sure y'all read in the day this video is going to be about modding the right ascension motor by Celestron for CG2 or CG3 mount. Uh, on, on this motor, you know, when you turn it on, the only thing you got to go off of is the sound of the motor. You know, you can change the speed and all, there's no number, there's no gauge, there's no anything. You know, and if your battery's getting low, you know that the sound and pitch will change and it, it's real hard to control the speed and you don't really don't really know you kind of guess that it take a picture if you're doing astrophotography and see if it's trailing see if you need to speed it up slow it down whoop, whoop, what what you know different targets have different speeds you know and there's no way to gauge it accurately with the way it is so I've come up with a solution to this hopefully using some wire some wire connectors and a digital voltmeter and uh, hope it works alright first things first uh, for the second time I done did one but take one wire, split it about an inch, and then take half of the wires and twist it on one side and twist it on the other. And then on this side, did it about a little more than a quarter of an inch. If I can get it in focus. But do that. And then repeat with this one. But take one of these. Right here, and you can stick it on this end, like so. Take the crimpers, and I do believe it's 1820. You want to crimp that on there. So it's good and tight. And that's what you want to do. Then you take one of these. And you got this. With the two split ends on that side. And slide that in there. Like so. And you can take one end. With this right here. Slide it in here. Like that. And you want to crimp it. And get my stuff right here. In the same spot. And this one here you don't want to crimp too tight because you want to be able to use your voltmeter for something else if down the road. But you want it just enough it will hold snug in there. Now it's in there. It will move and pull out, but it won't fall out. But then you can repeat this step and make one of these with this one here. Alright, y'all. Now I got my two leads made. This one's a little different because I messed up one of my connections. But I have them both made. I'm ready to install on this here motor. But to get into the motor, of course I'm missing the screw. I was fumbling around it in the dark 
trying to change battery one night and lost it. But take the screws out for the cover. Like so. And you can get in there to the motor. And if you notice right here, you have a neutral and a positive for the motor. So what I want to do at this point is take the split in right here and slide it through one side of this right here like that and then get a hold of it somehow. Let's try to kink it a little bit. Maybe that will help. If it wasn't so jittery, it'd probably be easier. Too much coffee. And take both of them and twist them so that you get a good connection. Now that the phone ain't ringing, I want to repeat that step for that top one up there. We'll bend this one a little. It seems to work better. Get it through there where we can get a hold of it. Twist them together. that up hang on you got big fingers these little things ain't all that easy Sorry if I'm blocking the view, y'all. This is pretty small stuff. Anyway, you get them together, you twist them together. And when you get it to where there's a good connection, we'll move on to the next step all right now that I got that one connected which was fun I, I put a piece of electrical tape right there as you can see this metal piece of metal right there and I don't want it shortened out on it but uh that's what we got but two wires hanging out in the connection so at this point I'm gonna put this motor cover back on and you know there's there's a room for the wires might have to bend them back to touch matter of fact i'll stick one over here I'll stick them over here like that and hold them back here put this cover back on with the one screw i got left Still cut on, still works, but then you can take your voltmeter, plug one side up, like so, let it hang, 
plug the other side up, let it hang. Then you got your voltmeter here. I ain't sure how many people of y'all may know how to use it, but this particular one, you put the black in the common and the red on the volt and the MA. And you turn it on, and this is a 9 volt battery. So we turn it to 9 volt back. Now we got a number to go off of. And when you change the speed, the number of the motor will change. So now you have a way to know the speed of this motor so you can repeat the speed for certain areas of the sky and so on and so forth. Hope it helps and thank you very much.